Today we're gonna to be talking about the professional summary and what a professional summary is. So first and foremost, it is the section at the top of your resume just below your contact information. And the reason that this section is so important is it helps recruiters very quickly assess whether or not you're the right candidate for the position, able for them to just qualify you at the highest level, okay? And the reason that we wanna call it a professional summary and not something like the branding statement is we really don't want the recruiter to have to work to determine what it is. We wanna stick with those traditional terms so they can very quickly assess what the information they need, where it is on your resume, and if you're a fit. Recruiter will only spend about six seconds on your resume initially. So you wanna make sure that you don't make them work harder than they need to. And the purpose of this professional summary is really to get them to look deeper into your resume. And again, that's the position that it fills in the job search funnel, which we'll talk about in the next video in great detail. So the professional summary needs to have three critical components. And those are one, your job title, two, your years of experience, and three, your specialties, degrees, certifications, skills, tools, or technologies. And we'll talk about each one of those. So first is your job title. So if you are looking for a manager position, you'll wanna have manager at the beginning of your professional summary. Now, if you're a manager and you're currently looking to level up to a director position, again, you wanna put that director position in your professional summary. So it's commonly accepted, people are trying to move up in their career. So don't worry, just because you haven't worked as a director, don't feel intimidated by putting it on there. That's where it needs to be. That's the position you're going for. That's the position that recruiters are looking to fill. So they expect to see that in the professional summary. Two, the years of experience. Again, this is for recruiters to very quickly assess if you're the right um, level in your career for this position you're applying for. So for example, if you say you have 10 years and they're looking for a more managerial or a uh, position that requires more experience, it's important to have that there. If you have only two years of experience, you need to be straightforward and put that in there as well so they can correctly assess and pre-qualify you for the role. And thirdly, you wanna have your advanced degrees, let's say MBA or certifications, skills, tools, technology. Again, a great opportunity for you to put those keywords into your professional summary, which benefits both the recruiters and the ATS or application tr tracking system bots, which we'll talk about in the next video as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example of a professional summary. Here you can see it starts off with that job title. So that's our target role. Then you can also see it has years of experience followed by those great keywords, really to help you uh, align with the position and demonstrate where you have your expertise in what fields, what tools, and what technologies. Again, you'll need to determine and use your judgment on what is the best uh, words to use here because you really don't have a lot of space. You should keep your professional summary to a, about one, two sentences max, two lines, maybe three lines maximum. Again, it should be very concise. Now, let's go ahead and recap what we learned today. One, we talked about what a professional summary is and where it fits on your resume at the top. We also talked about why it's important uh, for you to include those three key elements, your job title, years of experience, and specialty skills descriptions and degrees so a recruiter can very quickly assess at a high level and determine if you're qualified for this position. Uh, we also went through a specific example and there you go. 